Alrighty, so this is going to be a six month forecast for my, what sign are we gonna do? Um, Pisces. So let's see what's going on with you guys from now until the end of 2019. Pisces from now until the end of 2019. going on my Pisces from now until the end of 2019 and keep in mind this is a general message it will not apply to every Pisces so only take what does apply to you and if you do want your own personal reading definitely make sure you check out the information below okay Pisces from now to the end of 2019 So let's go ahead and lay these cards out. So June, July, August, September, October, October, and then November, love, work, finances, I think this is good. Yeah. All right. So we're good. All righty. So let's go ahead and go over these cards, guys. Um, let's talk about it. What I will say, quick disclaimer, like I said, everything will not apply to you. Um, also, if, like I said, you want a more personal reading, I would get one for yourself and only take what does apply to you. And if you watch this reading and it does resonate with you and you know that there's certain things that you do need to shift, um, you still have time to do so. So never take this energy as being concrete. You could always shift your mindset, shift the way that you handle your situations moving forward, and you could shift the outcome. All right? So let's go ahead and talk about this, Pisces. So let's start off with the month of June. So for June, we do have the High Priestess representing your love life. With the High Priestess being here, um, and oh, also keep in mind, this is an overview, so I'm not going to go too in-depth because I do the weeklies and the monthlies and stuff like that. But with the High Priestess being here for the energy surrounding your love life, for a lot of you guys, your focus could be mainly on yourself and handling business. For some of you guys, you could be um, in a space of just feeling like there's some things up with your person, so you may be just really using your intuition and just keeping to yourself more than anything with the high priest just i'm going to clarify it yeah i have the knight of wands so you could be feeling like your person and you may have like this very on and off connection where one second you guys are very passionate for each other and the next second it may be kind of not so um passionate so with this like i said you may be making yourself your main focus when it comes to your work life, I do have the Ten of Swords. So for some of you guys, you could be mentally at your wit's end with what you may be dealing with in your work sector. For some of you guys as well, you may be ending a cycle of just dealing with difficulties when it comes to like getting work or when it comes to just stuff that you may have been putting up with, when it comes to just jobs that you may have been accepting here. And I just feel like there is an ending that's taking place whether this is you ending a job or you mentally just being at your wits end and just being stressed um energetically when it comes to whatever you may be dealing with in the work field how 
that's translating into your finances. We do have the five of wands for June. And with this, you guys may be feeling a level of some financial issues, feeling as if there's some difficulties kind of coming up here. Clarifying the five of wands, I do have the four of cups. So you may be feeling like there's some issues here. There could be like some outside issues coming in from like outside people or even just like issues with family or like other issues that may be affecting the way that you're getting your money or just your finances in general. And you may be feeling a level of just dissatisfaction with finances in the month of June. So definitely, um, definitely some issues coming up here definitely some issues but again you guys can shift this like i said if this is something that you guys don't want to encounter all right but moving into july we do have the eight of swords representing your love life and with this you may be feeling as if your hands are tied within this situation like there's nothing you can really do to change the circumstance of the situation and you may be feeling as if like there is no real clarity around you when it comes to making some decisions about whatever you may be experiencing in your love life but I really do feel as if the truth is going to be very much around you like it's going to be very clear it's just a matter of you actually not um, being in the space of feeling like I don't know like you can't get out of this situation um for some of you guys as well this is just you feeling like I don't know helplessness because again your partner may be inconsistent But moving past that, when it comes to your work life for the month of July, I do have the Tower card. And with this, there could be like some sort of like shocking information that comes out or like there may be some sort of... Um... And again, I'm not trying to be negative, guys. I'm not trying to be negative. I just have to throw this disclaimer out there for anybody who may watch this and think that I have like something against Pisces. I have nothing against Pisces. I have nothing against any of the signs. I just read the energies. Even when I read for my own sign, I don't hold back. So with this, with the tower being clarified by the 10 of cups, there could be like some issues that may come up like in your family that may cause like some issues as far as work. Like how do I explain that? For some of you guys, there may be like some issues that are not related to work as far as like, okay, somebody passes away in the family, God forbid. But like something like that, like an incident may come up to where you have to like leave a job or something like that, or you have to like focus more on family. So for some of you guys, that may be a thing as well. For others of you, where there is like this unstable energy in your career, I feel like there is going to be a chance for you to shift that by getting a new job. Um, especially if you have been waiting for things to shift, I feel like there is a need for you to really take a step up and actually, like I said, change either careers or, like I said, making some necessary changes. But this is going to be after you realize that there are some changes that need to be made. And how that may be translating into your finances for the month of July, I do have the Five of Pentacles. With the Five of Pentacles being here, you could be having this mindset of feeling as if like you don't have enough or you could be like mentally just in a space of feeling just lack overall. Um, also, this could be, like I said, you guys actually losing money, like you guys losing out on money due to the fact that there may be some things that you have to take care of first. And for a lot of you guys, you are going to have to, like, think about the long term as well when it comes to finances. But moving forward, let's go ahead and look at the month of August. What I am seeing for the month of August when it comes to love, I have the star card. And with this, I feel like there is going to be some deep healing that does take place in the love department. For a lot of you guys, this could be some healing between you and another person, like healing a connection. Or this could be you healing some traumas or some wounds that you may have kind of gotten from being in relationships and being um, like screwed over in the past. So I do feel as if there is going to be some healing energy that comes in. You guys also may be dealing with like a soulmate or somebody who's destined to come in as well during this time. So definitely look out for that. Okay. Um, and I just feel like as well that there is a need for you guys to be hopeful for your love life in this month. So very positive. When it comes to career for the month of August, we do have the eight of cups 
And with the Eight of Cups is the energy of you emotionally not feeling a sense of satisfaction with possibly what you may be dealing with. And you may be in this mood to like walk away and really find what fulfills you emotionally. Um, especially if it was something that did support you emotionally at one point. I feel like you guys may be reaching that point of not feeling the same. And just being in this confusion as to what will work for you. Like what opportunity will be best for you. All right. But I feel like you guys will reach that clarity, like coming closer to the end of the month for you guys. Now, how that's translating into finances for the month of August, I do have the four of wands. And with the four of wands, I am seeing that you guys are going to be in a space of actually having um, stability, being in a stable space um, for a lot of you guys as well. I feel like really and truly when it comes to finances, your main priority is going to be family. For some of you guys, you could be like welcoming a new child or something like that. And that may be like taking a toll on or taking a hit on your finances due to the fact that you may not be able to work anymore. Or again, some family responsibilities are more important right now. Okay, but moving forward now, let's go ahead and look at the month of September. This is September, October, November. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at the month of September. So for the month of September for love, we do have the Six of Pentacles. And this is the energy of some imbalances. Um, You could be putting more energy out into your relationship than you, than you may be feeling like you're receiving back. Or your person may be feeling as if they're putting in more effort and energy into the connection and that you're not putting much into it. But um, I am seeing that you guys will be in the space of really trying to match your person's energy. For a lot of you guys as well, um, I feel as if there may be like outside people affecting the connection. So you may be like in a space of really just emotionally being fed up and just walking away because you may be, like I said, dissatisfied with what's going on within your relationship. Or even feeling a, a level of rejection. But moving past that, what I am seeing here for your work life, I do have the Nine of Swords. And with the Nine of Swords, you guys may be in this energy of being anxious when it comes to work or having anxiety. And it may be unfounded. But with this, you may be overanalyzing or overthinking when it comes to a job or a business or something that you may be doing here. Or for some of you guys, it could even be a decision that you do have to make. Um as far as work or when it comes to like a contract or like I said, some sort of business thing that you guys are working on or involved in that you guys are very anxious about making some sort of decision about, but you guys will have that clarity. You guys will have a clear understanding of what you need to do moving forward. And how this is going to translate into your finances, I do have the Eight of Wands. And with this, I do feel as if there is going to be opportunities coming left and right. I feel like also you guys will have the chance to move past any sort of financial adversities um, that you may be stuck in. And I feel like there will, for some of you guys, there may even be travel in the future for you guys, whether this is vacation or you guys moving. But I am seeing that you guys are going to be moving past the state of really being stuck in your head and like feeling as if you're just unstable. All right. And I would also look at different opportunities as well, financially. Alrighty, so now let's talk about the month of October. So for October, we do have the Knight of Swords. And with the Knight of Swords being here, I feel like, um, and this is representing your love life, um, I feel like you guys will be dealing with a partner. This may be a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. But with this, this person may be inconsistent with the way that they communicate. Um, this person may come out of the blue and communicate with you. And then just as fast as they come in, they may jet off just as fast. So there may be some issues, again, with some inconsistencies here between you and another person. And for a lot of you guys as well, this may be somebody from your past who's doing this. And I feel like you guys will have this energy of regret over some sort of relationship that you were in with someone who, like I said either had other people involved in the connection or there was just inconsistencies overall. 
Now, what I am seeing for your work life for the month of October, I do have the Seven of Wands. And with the Seven of Wands, I do feel as if you guys will still be trying to fight over some sort of obstacles or roadblocks that you guys may be running into here. Clarifying that, I do have the Three of Swords. I don't know. Guys, I really don't want you guys to feel like this reading is negative. It's not. Um, It's really not negative. And I'm not trying to make it be. Um, I just feel like there's some shifts that you guys do need to make. So that you guys cannot run into this energy. Because these cards, these cards are interesting, okay? But um, like I said, with the Seven of Wands and the Three of Swords, you may be having to really fight past any sort of adversities that may be coming up in your career sector especially if it is like a level of disappointment that may be coming up with money moving slow or opportunities moving slow or even a business that you're trying to build moving slow but i really feel like you guys do need to be persistent especially if you guys do want to experience a level of growth and abundance okay and it is going to take time to get there but what I am seeing here for the energy surrounding finances, I do have the emperor. And with the emperor, this is you guys being in control of your finances. You guys being in a position to where you, um, like I said, you're controlled when it comes to your finances. And for some of you guys as well, like I said, you may be taking more of a focus on family stuff. This may be affecting your finances. For some of you guys, if you're getting a divorce or something like that, I feel like that may take a toll on your finances as well. And I would make sure that I'm, like I said, with you being in control of your finances, I would definitely make sure you're not avoiding any sort of responsibilities. But for a lot of you guys, yeah, if you are getting like divorced or something like that, I would definitely be careful financially because that may be an issue in October. Especially if there's like infidelities, like if the cheating was um, founded on like the cheating, the relationship um, got destroyed based off of cheating that may come up. But moving past that, what I am seeing here for the month of November, the energy surrounding your love life, I do have the page of cups. And with this, you may be in a space of really just focusing on yourself. For some of you guys, you could also be dealing with somebody who's emotionally immature. This could be like somebody younger than you, or just like I said, somebody who's just emotionally not in a space where you're at. But I am seeing that you guys will be moving on possibly from someone who is like this. Or for some of you guys, you may have been in a space of trying to move on from this person, but you may be, like I said, being approached by this person and you may be trying to take a leap of faith with this situation, even though it is confusing emotionally. Okay. This could be with an Aries or a cancer or any water sign or any person, to be honest, however, it fits into your situation. Um, but what I am seeing for work, I do have the Queen of Swords. And with this, you guys are strategically trying to um, put things in place here. For some of you guys as well, this is like applying for jobs. This is like really putting yourself out there, going for interviews and whatnot. And I feel like you guys will really be triumphant in taking action towards changing your situation here, especially with the Wheel of Fortune. I feel like things will shift with you being strategic in your movements. And how this translates into finances and also for some of you guys as well, like I said, a legal situation may come up. For some of you guys, this could like be a divorce or something like that. That comes up. But what I am seeing for finances, I do have the king of wands, which doesn't make sense to me. Hold on. Let me pick these cards up. Okay, so I have the King of Wands here for when it comes to finances for November. Clarifying it, I have the Ace of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords. So again, for some of you guys, if you're like married to a Sagittarius or an air sign, if you guys get a divorce, you may have to like pay this person. I don't know why this is coming up in this reading, but I feel like it's for somebody here. If you are getting some sort of divorce here with somebody who you have children with, yeah, some sort of like family unit, I feel like that you may end up having to pay money or something like that. But moving past that, we're going to cover the last month for the year. 
And what I am seeing for your love life, we do have the two of wands. And with this, you may be at a crossroads about which way to go about your relationship. You may be trying to decide whether or not you should continue in it or if you should move on here. Um, clarifying it, I do have the knight of pentacles so yeah so you may be at a crossroads about whether or not you can slowly but surely like work out the relationship or if you should turn your back on this and when it comes to work i do have these six of cups so for some of you guys your focus may be solely on your children um yeah you may be walking away from a job and just focusing more on your children for some of you guys as well something that you have been investing yourself into since you were a child you may be walking away and finding success somewhere else by looking at different opportunities especially if you're not emotionally there anymore as well but the last card this is going to represent your your money i do have the higher or not the hierophant the hermit and clarifying that I have the five of pentacles. So for a lot of you guys, when it comes to finances, what's really going to be important, guys, is you guys going within about how you can change the circumstance of your finances. Because for a lot of you guys, the reason why this is happening is because you're confused. You're confused as to what's a solid opportunity and what's not. For some of you guys, you're just in a space of not knowing which way to go when it comes to career. And what needs to happen is you guys need to come into a space of really realizing what's best for you. And for some of you guys as well, like I said, some sort of legal situation here is really plaguing you this whole year, okay? But like I said, this is a general message. If it doesn't apply to you, I would not take it personally. Again, if you do want to know what may happen for you, I would just get a personal reading instead of assuming. <laughs> because if you watch a whole bunch of tarot readings, it's just constant assuming. So... Thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. I hope that I was able to help and I will talk to you guys later. Bye guys.